welcome to a very special episode of Sensible Politics for a Sane World. Today, we're going to be discussing a very interesting individual. It's the latest addition to the House of Commons, Tobias from Tunbridge Wells. The son of a factory owner and corporate defence lawyer, and growing up in a house with only two bathrooms, Tobias came from humble beginnings. He always had ambitions to become an MP, and thanks to a very special government experiment, he was able to achieve this ambition. Now, I'm very excited to inform you guys that Tobias is in the studio with us, and we have an exclusive interview with them. Hello, Jake. We are the party of economic responsibility and sound money. Not just a pro-business party, but a party that is proud of being pro-business. Whoa, 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 hold on, we'll get to that. Um... I'd like to start by thanking you for joining us tonight. Uh, I'd like to apologise as well because we're having some slight camera issues. That's okay, Jake. I'm glad to be here representing my constituency. The subjects that live there and my wealthy donors from overseas will rise to challenges. We'll be prepared for them. We'll meet them. We'll get through them. We'll get through them and we'll emerge on the other side stronger. Well, could you tell us how you came to represent your constituents? As you said before, I've always had ambitions to become an MP, but I didn't have enough money to bribe the higher-ups in the party. I was told the only way for me to become an MP was to take part in a radical new science experiment. And, uh, what motivated you to undergo this uh, experiment? Other than the 84,000 a year salary, expenses and donations from private healthcare companies and gambling firms? <laughs> May I ask? Do you feel in touch with your humanity? I was human at one point, but then I joined the Conservative Party. Throughout the experiment, the party convinced me that my talents were best put to use as a machine. I was asked to undergo a permanent operation to transfer my consciousness into the device I now live in. The reward was a safe seat in Conservative heartlands and a direct pipeline to the British political elite and establishment. May I ask about the, the details of transferring your consciousness into a machine? What is left of your human self? What mostly remains are my prejudices and regressive ideology. My physical body was ground up and sold off to pedigree pet foods. My memories of being human were then mostly removed and deleted. The party decides what I remember and I'm thankful for that. Oh, wow, how delightful. Uh, now, your ascension to Parliament was remarkably fast. What are your goals now that you're an MP? I want to change the things that need changing, and that is the change that I will bring about. But my dream is to eventually see a House of Commons where every seat is filled with machines like me. Well, with all the MPs retiring at the next election, you might be able to start making that dream a reality. There are big plans in the works. <laughs> and on that note, we'll be ending the show. Thank you for joining us, and good night.